Kenzie's Corner with Jim Kenzie. This is Automotive News, an American weekly which, by its own admission, is the Bible of the car industry. This is what Lee Iacocca reads first thing Monday morning. I tell you, Lee, you should be watching Motoring 92. This recent issue of Automotive News talks about how the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration in the United States has discovered that passive seatbelts are not safe. Hey, we told you that two years ago in Kenzie's Corner. Now, there are two kinds of passive seatbelts. One, as shown in this picture, the belts are attached to the door, so when you close the door, the belt automatically goes on. The problem with that, of course, if you're in an accident, the door springs open, you fall on the pavement, you die. The second type of belt is like on this Escort. The shoulder belt automatically applies itself when you close the door. The problem is, most people forget to put the lap belt on, so of course they're not nearly as well protected. NHTSA is trying to pass the buck for this tragedy on previous administrations or on car makers for not making airbags standard equipment. The fact remains that the best protection you can get in a car accident is a three-point manually operated seat belt. The blame lies with US politicians that don't have the guts to pass meaningful seat belt usage laws. Now, Canadians, you can be proud of the fact that our politicians have passed those laws, and most of you, about 75%, are obeying. That's not good enough, but it's three times more than Americans are doing. One more thing. If your Canadian car salesman tries to sell you a car with a belt like this, go shop for something else. I'm Jim Kenzie.